antimicrobial susceptibility profile and detection of extended spectrum beta-lactamus resistance genes in Pseudomonas aeruginosa isolated from postoperative wounds. This article is written by four authors. First author M. I. Jafaro. Second author M. Bashir. Third author F. F. T. J. Last author N. A. Kakala. Contribution and originality of the study is that, this study documents the antimicrobial resistance profile of Pseudomonas aeruginosa isolated from postoperative wound infection and also detect ESBL resistance genes in those isolates. The spread of Pseudomonas aeruginosa is difficult to control with disinfectants and antibiotics due to the resistance found in P. aeruginosa isolates. The study investigated the susceptibility profile and detect extended spectrum beta-lactamus, ESBL, resistance genes in the Pseudomonas aeruginosa isolated from postoperative wound infection. Wound swabs were cultured on McConkey and subcultured on cetramide agar. The isolates were identified based on their macroscopic and microscopic characteristics as well as 16 CERNA. Disc diffusion technique was used to check the susceptibility profile of the isolates and the extended spectrum beta-lactam, ESBL, producers were determined by growing the isolates on Muller-Hinton agar plate in the presence of amoxiclav. 40 positive isolates were recovered in the study with 21 isolates been multi-drug resistance, MDR. Before plasmid curing, streptomycin, suftazidine, augmentin, and gentamicin has the highest resistance rate of 80%, and equals 32, 60%, and equals 24, 60%, and equals 24 and 60 percent and equals 24 respectively. However, after plasmid curing, the results showed reduction in resistance rates. Streptomycin and ceftazidime showed high reduction in resistance from 80 percent to 25 percent and from 60 to 12.7 percent respectively indicating that resistance was plasmid mediated. Pseudomonas aeruginosa F23 and Pseudomonas aeruginosa S15 isolates shown to possess both the PLCH and blopper genes with bands amplicon size of 307 BP and 520 BP respectively. Antibiotic susceptibility pattern after plasmid curing showed that 45% of the isolates produces beta-lactamus enzymes i.e., 18 out of 40 isolates were inactive to all beta-lactam group of antibiotics. Thanks for watching this video of Journal of Diseases Volume 10 Issue Number 1.